So I wanted to make this video, an unedited, unscripted video, where I talk about a specific, or where I talk about certain things, right? And today, a, a killer by the name of the Mastermind, or Wesker, has come to Dead by Daylight, and this is his time out of the PTB. I didn't get to play the PTB because I was a, or I am an Xbox player, and you know, that shit's only PC, but I wanted to kind of talk about how he felt to play and all that, which right now we're doing a prestige challenge with him where I play only him until I get to prestige. Um, but you know, first link in the description, stream, yeah. Uh, but genuinely I wanted to sit down and talk about how it felt to play him. And my biggest rundown is he's a dope character, um, like just in general like story wise and everything he's always been a dope character um he has voice lines he's one of the few characters with voice lines um and he has specific voice lines towards like uh chris uh redfield i don't know about any of the other ones i haven't been able to test that out yet but my biggest complaint with him is his ability um his i'm not gonna say it's overpowered i'm not gonna say it's underpowered because i don't truly care about the power right now it was like a fun ability and it allows for you to do certain things like uh be able to pressure survivors um in a different way with the infection and make it so where they're not working on gins as much as they usually are um and we're not gonna talk about the perks today we're not gonna talk about the add-ons today what i want to talk about is the inconsistency of his ability um so if you don't know Whenever you use his ability, you charge up the Ouroboros, um, and then you lunge once. You can wait like two seconds, or you could do it imme immediately, um, and you lunge again at, for a further distance. Um, and if you grab them during that time, if you're right next to a wall, you slam them against the wall, and it injures them, infects them, lets them go. Uh, now also, uh, if you grab them and you're not close to a wall, you throw them forward. If they hit something within that distance they're thrown, they will take damage. Uh, and then they'll also be infected uh, if they aren't already infected. Um, and after that, uh, well, you know, if you throw them and there's not a wall there, they can escape for free. Um, and you still have to do the animation and everything. Now, there's one specific thing that isn't really i have come across multiple times i want to say three times um where you just kind of grab them instantly let go they get infected they don't get damaged and you still have to do the animation of coming out of ouroboros and that's happened to, i've played six games i want to say that's happened to me four times and I I find that very not fun to do, right? That's it's something that adds just this hiccup to the character because unironically he's a fun killer. Uh he's he's fun. Um that's something I can say about him. Uh and he's simple uh compared to a lot of other killers. But I don't know what causes that problem where you instantly drop them, they get infected, which means you did hit them. Uh, but you just don't pick them up and you have to go through the uh, animation for it. Um, and the fact that it's happened to me four times in six games means that it's, I wouldn't say consistent. Yeah, it would, well, actually, I would say um, it is a consistent thing that happens that just makes the character feel awful. Um, when it happens, every time it happens, it makes the character feel just really bad. I want R Wesker to be amazing. I want him to be great. I, my only problem is he doesn't feel great. Um, he, he feels like one of the worst characters to play. I'm not saying he is a bad character. If anything, I think he's actually quite good. But he feels bad to play at times. Um... I've had, I want to say, a few occasions in the six games where I have gone through a survivor with the um, lunge. And, like, that just 
really doesn't feel good. And one thing, one thing that I want to say is the character right now, genuinely, from my perspective, feels unfinished. I, I don't know why. Also, sorry, I hit my mic, but um, I don't know why they released him like this. And if that, if say what I'm talking about is a feature of him, uh, then I mean it's in my opinion a bad feature. Um, but if it isn't, you should have taken the time to at least work out the kinks. That if I'm not mistaken, that's what they did with uh Blight. I wasn't fully part of the community whenever Blight was added, but well, I kind of was, but I wasn't a YouTuber or streamer during that time, so I didn't really go into depth into it. Um, but my biggest problem with him right now is that he feels unfinished, like just an unfinished killer. Um, and that's all I, that's like the main thing I want to say. Um, if you disagree, please put it in the comments. If you agree, uh, I mean, you can still put it in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this little rant, like subscribe or hell, dislike if you want to, it's all up to you. Well, that's I got my piece out of the way. All I have left to say is, well, deuces.